All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the viewers out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see. This is a how do they really feel about me reading. We are going to find out what's going on with your person. If you are feeling like you're in the dark about some things, you don't know where you stand, you don't know where this person comes from, you are feeling like you're in the dark about them dealing with someone else, let's see what's going on with this person. What is going on with my viewer's person? All right, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, check your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal reading, the links are posted in the description box below this video. I do have a Lionsgate special um, going on at this time for readings. So check that out as well. If you are interested, the information is posted on the community section of the channel. All right, let's see. So it looks like your person is trying to make healthier choices, healthier decisions. Okay, they're setting different rules, different expectations for themselves. This person is trying to manifest abundance through showing some type of gratitude and just making healthier decisions in their life at this time. I do feel like this person feels like you are their balance, like you balance them out in some type of way, you compliment them. This union will be um, a duality, okay? So for some of you, you could be opposite signs of this person. Like if you are a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Virgo. If you're an Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Leo. If you are a an Air, a Libra, you could be dealing with an Aries. So it's just a matter of this person is just, you know, making healthier decisions. I feel like this person has been closed off emotionally because they were frustrated in a relationship. This person lacked confidence. They So they self-sabotaged because they were listening to their ego. Um, for some of you, this person has some type of jealousy issues or they're jealous of you. They may be jealous of your light. For some of you, they're jealous that some of you, this is a third party situation with this wedding ring. Someone here could be married as well. All right. And I do feel like this person is withdrawn because not only are they working on themselves and trying to make healthier decisions, they are also reflecting about the relationship reflecting about the things that cause them to feel frustrated they could also be thinking about work at this time for some of you you could be dealing with someone this person could be 38 years old their birthday could be march the 8th okay february the 1st they could also be the age of 21 or they could act like a child and just be very immature. Let me know in the comment section. But I feel like this person... Is that a cat? Yeah. Oh, this person could be viewing you as being devious or um, sneaky or deceptive. So For some of you, this person feels like you told them that you're going to work. But you're not actually going to work. You could be going to see another person. Okay and leaving the house feeling empty like if you live with this person or you used to live with them they feel like you're telling them that you're going to work but you're actually going to see someone else Ooh. okay and keeping them in their head keeping them overthinking keeping them in prison Ooh. okay let's get to the meat and potatoes Someone here could be the age of 92. I'm seeing a February, the first birthday or February the 9th birthday. Or January the 2nd or September the 2nd. Let me know. So that's Virgos, Capricorns, and Aquarius energy here. Also, um, Leos, August 3rd, and Pisces. 
March the 8th. Duality. I'm hearing duality with numbers. Okay. So this person feels like you cut them off because they were being a trickster or you were being a trickster. Gemini Virgo energy is here. They, you, they feel like you cut them off. For some of you, there was an argument that took place in the past. And it brought forth some type of clarity about why your person was going off or disappearing or going off or saying that they were going to work or something like that. It has something to do with the third party situation. Okay, this person may have placed you in a third party in the past. And you are unaware of it. And I feel like a conversation brought forth that clarity that you were in competition. Okay, this person had you in some type of competition. They were being a trickster. Okay. Caused you to feel like you had to look over your shoulder. There was another feminine energy or another masculine energy. And this person was saying that, you know, I'm going to work. Leaving you home alone while they were out dibbling and dabbling and having fun with someone else, okay? And it created this appointment in a relationship. Capricorn's energy is here. It caused you to feel disappointed because it's like this, you saw this person for who they are. Like you felt like this person took their mask off. This person is very toxic. They have a high... um. They could be addicted to sex. I see addictions here. Drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography. And they try to pull the wool over their eyes. This person often wears a mask. They could go to the gym a lot, work out a lot. They could be dealing with someone that they met at the gym. Could be acting like they're single, but they're not. And again, for one of you, someone here is in a... Uh, a marriage or a long-term commitment, but they act like they're single. All right, this could be how this person sees you or how you see them. Just apply it because because the energies could be vice versa. But again, I feel like right now, this person is trying to, this person is realizing that you make them happy. You're what makes them happy, okay? And for some of you, you've been with this person for a long time. They wanna, re, they wanna reconcile with you and balance things out. For some of you, this person wants to come in and ask your hand, ask your hand in marriage. They wanna come back together. Could be a Leo involved or a Libra. You may have children with this person as well. But they want evolution. They want things to move forward. They just don't know how to how you two could get back on the same page. This is what they want to express to you. That they want to move things forward. Yeah, because they feel like things are stuck. And that's what's stressing them out and keeping them up at night. Because they're ready to take action to come towards you. But they feel like they can't. Because too much has taken place in between the time of your um, separation. Before your separation and during the separation. So what action will they take? I feel like they're going to decide to come in. Although they may feel like they, they look and feel like a fool be and they're uncertain of the future of this union. They're coming in, but they're going to come in slowly. They're taking their time. Because when they come in, they want to make sure that you two can get back on the same page. You see eye to eye. There's clarity. There's reciprocity. There's give and take. And they want to make sure that the both of you are headed in the same direction. Okay? So that is what they're, they are going to do. That This is how this person feels at this time. All right, so let me know in the comment section below if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you have not already. Be blessed, be safe, 
Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time. Peace.